Hello everybody, Wes Boss here. Hopefully you're having a great day. Today we are going to be making this pretty sweet CSS clock. Now what this does is it takes in the current time from JavaScript and it's going to update these hands, second hands that we've got going on here based on the current hour, minute, second that we are seeing. So let's take a look at our HTML that we've got going on here. We've got a div with a class of clock. We have a clock face, which is this circle here. And then we have uh, three separate divs for hand, 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 which is our, our hour, our minute, and our second. Now let's open that up. This is the answer. This is sort of what we're going for with this realistic tick. And we're gonna write the, the CSS that is important to getting this done. So I've specifically left that part out. So here we go. This is what it looks like by default. I've got these three hand divs. We go ahead and inspect. Then we can inspect this hand div. And you'll see that all three of them are just stacked upon each other. And the idea that we're going for here is that we're going to apply a rotate to each of the hands depending on what time it currently is. So how do we do that? Well, you could just go to this. Let's try the second hand. We'd say transform rotate 20 degrees. Now, the problem that we're going to have here is by default, it's going to rotate itself on the exact middle of the element. And in most cases, that's exactly what you want. But in this case, it's not what we want at all. What we want to do is we want to rotate it on the very uh, right hand side. So that's right in the middle here. And that's what we're going to go into our CSS where it says dot hand and we are going to transform the origin. Now the origin is where it's going to do the rotation off of. So we're gonna say transform origin. We're just gonna say 100%, and that will do along the X axis. By default, it's 50%. So if I were to change that to 50%, and I were to transform it, you see it, it's just in the middle. But if I were to change that origin up to, see as I move this origin, it changes where it goes off of, and 100% along the X axis will put that pivot point on the very right hand side. That's why we change it to 100%. Now that's going to allow us to pivot them all. Then the, the other problem now is that because divs go are block and they're left to right, it's not actually starting at 12 o'clock. So how do we do that? Well, we could just rotate the entire thing by default in 90 degrees. So we say transform, rotate 90 degrees. Okay, good. Now we've got all of our hands pointing up and down. Uh, and then the, the final thing we want to do is we want to apply a bit of a transition. If I put a rotate on here, you'll see that as it's 20 to 120 to 20 to 120 to however many, it just immediately goes. So we can go in here and we can say transition all 0 0.5 seconds. Now when we rotate, it's going to transition itself and that's going to be every second it'll tick itself around. Now you might like that, but what's kind of cool uh, about this is you can also do something like this where you can say transition timing function and give it like any one of these, like ease in out. And what you can just pick whatever one you want. You can try it out. You see how it eases itself in and out. You might like that as well. But if you click on this little uh, cubic Bezier editor, you can actually make some pretty fun ones where if you just jack it right up like this, now when you change it, it gives you this, tick. it goes back, forward and back, forward and back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that transition timing function and pop that in. And then I'm also going to take this down to 0 0.05 seconds, just nice and quick. So let's see what it looks like when we do that. Transform. There we go. That gives us a nice snappy little tick, 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 tick. That's exactly what we're looking for. Uh, where it will go a little bit over its bounds and then it'll snap back. And because we did it so quickly, it gives us sort of that realistic ticking feature. Good. So we did our transform origin, our transform, our transition, and our transition timing function of cubic Bezier. Now let's actually write the JavaScript that's going to update how we are so far. Let's start with our second hand, just because that updates most often. We're going to see it tick, tick, tick all the way around. So first thing we need to do is create a function called set date. And that's just going to console log high. And then we need that to run how often? Well, every second. So how do you run something every second? You give yourself a set interval, which is going to be set date. 
and that is going to run every second, which is a thousand milliseconds. Now let's see if that's working. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, good. That's working for us. However, we don't want to console log hi. We want to grab the date. We'll say const now equals new date. And then the seconds is going to be now dot get seconds. And let's console log the seconds. 56, 57, 58. Okay, so what that is doing is it's getting us the seconds of the current minute. Now, how do we turn that into a degree? Well, first we need to turn it into something that is base 100 so that we can get like at zero, it's going to be zero degrees. At 100%, it's going to be 360 degrees. So we will go down here and say const seconds degrees equals or say seconds divided by 60. And that's going to give us our uh, percentage that we have. And then we're going to multiply that by 360 because that's that would be our full. So if it's 60 divided by 60, it's going to be one times 360. That's going to be 360 degrees. And then we can finally just take our second hand, which we have not yet selected. We can select it. You can either select it like inside outside and pass it in. I'm just going to select it outside here and, and reach outside to grab it. However, uh, depending on how you like to design your functions, you could pass it in as well. So I'm going to say const second hand equals document dot query selector. Then we take that second hand and we'll apply some styles to it. Second hand dot style dot transform is going to be equal to, we'll use some ES6 uh, template literals here, rotate uh, how many degrees? Usually it'd be like 100 degrees, but that is going to be in the seconds degrees. Good. So that should get us most of the way there. Let's see where we're at. Okay, makes sense. But the one problem is here, I'm almost at 60 seconds, but I'm not even nearly halfway through. And the problem we're having here is because we initially offset it by 90 degrees because the it's by default left to right, and we want it by default top top to bottom. So what we need to do is just take this. And that's why I wrap these in parentheses. It will add 90 degrees to offset that default 90 degrees that we're sort of working with here. So let's see where we're at now. Here we go. 15, 16. Good. Now pause the video and I want to see you do both minutes and hours. It's probably a little self-explanatory, but uh, try to do it yourself. Otherwise, um, come back and we'll do the rest together. So we're going to say const mins equals now dot get minutes const mins degrees is equal to mins divided by 60 times 360 plus 90. And then we'll say second hand. Again, we need to go up here. Second hand mins hand. And we also let's, let's get the hour hand as well. Okay, then we're down here. Say our hand dot style dot transform equals. Well, it will take this exact same thing, but we'll replace it with the minutes degrees rather than that. Let's see. My editor's yelling at me. I forgot something here. Oh, open parenthesis there. There we go. Oh, got a problem. Cannot set property transform of undefined because you got to spell style right. Otherwise, it won't work. Learn to spell, folks. There we go. Both of those two are now working. You're going to have to wait a full minute to, to see it to actually work. And then finally, we'll do the hours one. That's going to be divided by 12 instead of 60. And then we will take our hour hand. Oops, this one was hour hand. This one should be min hand min's hand and we'll take the hours degree in there awesome look like it is all working for us it's all running um one little thing that does happen you might notice that when you hit the 60 uh seconds it, you're going to hit like almost 360 degrees and then all of a sudden it goes to like two degrees and it's not going to transform itself to from like right here to right here Hold on, let's just wait for this to happen. All right, you see how this is about to, to clock over? Oh, we get that little weird like whoop 
And what's happening is it gets to that final amount of degrees and then we go to transform zero degrees or 90 degrees right there. And it goes all the way backwards to get to where it wants rather than just going forward. So uh, a couple things you could do here is you could just uh, tally the amount of degrees and just keep on counting. Or another thing you could do is uh, temporarily with JavaScript, take off the transition so that when it ticks to that next one, it's not going to go transition itself backwards and then reapply it after. And that would be done with some if statements uh, inside of the set date. Other than that, that's today's one and I will see you tomorrow.